In this lesson, we're going to initiate an empty game before we add anything, and I'm going to cover some very basic phaser concepts. So the file folder structure that we're going to have, um, we're going to have an index.html file, which is where all of the JavaScript files are loaded. That's our main uh, entry point. Then we have a JS folder where we keep the phaser library, and our own code is going to go into main.js, which is empty for now. Then we have a folder called assets, and this is where, where we will eventually add all of the assets of our game. So far, there's just a folder images and a single background image. Let's take a look at index.html. The first part has a, a meta tags that are used, uh, usually used on mobile web applications. Uh, uh, th what they do is they disallow scaling of the, uh, so that the user cannot pinch to zoom in or zoom out. The app just shows um, using the, the, the width of the device and the user cannot zoom in or out. We, of course, include our phaser library, our custom JavaScript file, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of all margin padding, setting the background to black so that in the areas where the game is not being shown, it shows black so that that looks pretty okay. All right, so let's go to main.js. The first thing you want to do is create a new game instance. And that is a new phaser.game object. We give our game dimensions. That's going to be 640 by 360 pixels. We have to pick how the game is going to render in the browser. Is it going to use the canvas tag or is it going to use WebGL? WebGL has, of course, better performance, but it's not broadly supported. So we can pick either one of the two or we can set um, this option to automatic so that Phaser will try to use WebGL if available and if it's not available it'll default back to canvas so that we don't have to worry about it. After we create an empty game we want to give this game a state. A state the state is where all the game logic, all the code of your game is gonna go. In this particular game we're gonna have a single state. States have some default uh, methods. You can't use these names for your own methods in the state. You have to respect these names, and I'm going to explain what those are. So a state is basically a JavaScript object, and it's going to have a, usually they're going to have a preload method. The preload method is where all of your images, audio files, and other game files are loaded. Once everything in your game is loaded, then the create method is called. When the create method is called, we already have all the images loaded in memory so that they can be quickly accessed. And then the third method that is commonly used is called update. And this method is going to be executed multiple times per second, many, many times per second, um, for as long as your game is going. So that you can perform checks such as input from the user, or is there a collision between two different elements on your game? That's all, that's all takes place in update. Now, why do we need to preload the, the image files? Why can't we load them as we need them? Well, loading an image from a disk or from somewhere on the web can take time. When you visit a website, if images are not loaded, you usually see an empty placeholder. But imagine you're playing a video game and the main character is not loaded yet, so instead of seeing a funny uh, dude, you see a white rectangle. That would be completely unacceptable in a game, so that's why we need to make sure everything is loaded before the game begins, and Phaser works that in this manner, with preload and then create. Now that we created a state, we need to assign it to our game. We need to add it to our game. So we'll do game.state.add. We give our state a name. We'll call it game state, just like the name of the object. And then we pass it the actual object, game state. Now that our game has this state added, we have to launch it. We have to fire it up so that the game finally begins. Game.state.start. And then the key of our state, game state that will fire this state up. It's so far empty, but this will make it begin. Let's reload the page and see how um, a phaser game is initiated. We can see the version of phaser at the time of this recording, the version of pixie.js, which is the library used for the rendering part. And it's telling us that WebGL is available and also the Web Audio API, just the way it's going to uh, handle audio in this game. 
So this is how um, a, game, a new game is initiated. You'll have an index file and then you'll have your own code. Uh, assuming phaser has already been loaded, you can um, here create a new phaser.game object and you will assign a state to that game. And for your game to begin, you need to fire that state up, make it begin. 